Hey, with people for health and fitness, and this is beginner circuit training. Always consult with a physician before starting an exercise program. We do eight exercises. We're going to do those for 40 seconds each, and then we do three rounds of that. So we're going to start with round one, then we'll take a break. Round one, what you're going to want is you don't need any weights. We're going to start with the legs. We're going to do... We're going to do reverse lunging. So what that looks like, you're going to stand up tall. You're going to go backwards. So we're just going to step back a little bit, and you're going to alternate legs each time. If you feel more comfortable, you can go a little bit deeper than that. If you need to, you can go very shallow. You can keep it very simple, okay? So only do what you feel comfortable with. We'll go in three, two, one. Here we go. One, zero, eight. I'm doing it very little. If you feel like you want to go deeper than me, please do. Keep going. You're almost there. One more each leg. Okay, grab a set of weights if you got a set of weights. If you don't, you can always do exercise without weights. You're still going to get some repetition. You're still going to get some strengthening in. We're going to do a balancing hammer curl. So what that means is I'm going to take one foot. I'm going to put it in front of the other one. If you want it harder, you can go directly in front of that foot. If you need a little more balance, you just take the foot off to the side a little bit. So you can pick with something you feel comfortable with. And then from here, we're going to put a foot in front. We're going to just curl up with the weights. And we're going to go up and down. Okay, real simple. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go ahead. I don't want you to have to worry about balance too much. So if you're off balance, just step to the side a little bit with one foot. And that'll give you some more balance, a little bit more support. All right, doing good. All right, we're going to change your feet. Put the other foot out in front. Same thing. Go ahead. Two more. Last one. Okay, you can place your weights down. Next, the two-part exercise. We're going to do a right leg to spread. If you need to hold on to a wall, you always can. What we're going to do is we're going to do a side hip abduction. We're going to do a high knee. So we're going to start with first. I'm going to kick out to the side. Then I'm going to take that knee and come up to the front. Kick out to the side. Up to the front. Just that one leg. Okay, so pick your right leg. We'll go in three, two, one. Go ahead. Right leg kick to the side. I need. Kick to the side. I need. Okay, keep going, everybody. Just make sure everyone's doing okay. Try to keep your toes and your hips facing forward. Okay? You don't want to kick to the side. You want your leg to go to the side, but we don't want the toe to kick to the side. You want to keep everything facing forward. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a break. Okay? You got one weight, or you don't need a weight. You can do this one without a weight. Uh, like I've been doing recently, I'm going to use a chair. Just to lean forward on. If you guys want to use anything around to lean forward on, a desk, a table, you can. You can also use your leg, like so. Okay? We're going to do a kickback. So what that is, is you're going to take the weight in your right arm. You're going to put your left arm, left foot forward, either here or like so. You pull your elbow up, and then you just extend the weight back very slowly. I notice my elbow stays up. It stays nice and stationary. It's not my whole arm going anywhere. Elbow stays still, and you're just extending the weight backwards, okay? So pick your right arm, start with your right side, and go ahead. Go to four of me. You do not want to be up tall like this. You're going to feel really uncomfortable. I want you to be able to get a little bit of a lean forward. And just 
three. Good, you can lose that. All right, take a 30 or 45 second break and grab a drink if you'd like one. Two. We're going to start with the first one, reverse lunge. Reverse lunge, you kind of just reverse step back, also a reverse step back. You can go as deep as you feel comfortable. Mine's very little. If you feel like you can go lower, go lower. Okay, we'll go in three, two, one. Here we go. You're going to do your step back. You're going to notice my knee stays nice and still. You want to keep that knee nice and still. Keep going, you guys. Yeah, you can always hold on to something if you need a little balance support. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Pause right there. All right, grab a set of weights if you got one. Again, you can always do these motions without weights. We're going to do some balancing and hammer curls. So what we're going to do is you're going to take one plate, you're going to place it in front of the other one. Again, if you need to be a little bit more uh, supportive to your balance, you just step up to the side a little bit. All right, so one foot goes in front of the other. And here we go. We're going to curl up. Go ahead. Keep the elbows nice and still. You're going to notice my whole arm's not coming up. I'm keeping my elbows right next to my thighs. Pause. Right, change feet. Here we go. Right away. Four to go. Three, two, last one. Okay, you can lose those weights. This time we're going to do our left leg hip abduction and high knee. So if you need to hold on to something, you can. Okay, you can always hold on to something. We'll go in five seconds. Here we go. Left leg. Kick out. Toes face forward. Knee comes up. Kick out. Up. Out. Up. Okay, keep going, keep your rhythm. You got 15 seconds to go. Try to keep, like I said, everything's facing forward. Hips and toes face forward. Your leg just kicks to the side. You want your hips and your toes to go forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a break. Next up is a tricep kickback with the back of the arm. Okay, so we're going to go left arm this time. We're going to go right foot out in front. You can use anything like I am if you want a chair or a table or a windowsill, anything that, like that works. Or you can always use your legs. All right, we're going to pull the elbow up. Good forward lean. Elbow pulls up. That's our start point. Here we go. Extend the way back. Nice and slow. Go ahead. That was Swedish there. Yeah. You have five more, four, three, two, last one. 
right. Place the weight down. You do not need it for the next one. Yeah. It's going to be our reverse glute pull. I'm going to use a chair again. You can use a wall or anything if you need to. Um, you want something where you can have a little bit of a forward lean. So I'm going to use this. See how I'm sliding before and not up tall? Okay? So it's a forward lean. That leg just pulls back nice and easy. Okay? All right. We're going three, two, one. Go ahead. Left leg. You have 15 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a break. Two to go, then we'll take a break for this round. Three to go, I'm sorry. We have uh, our calf exercise. We're going to get a rock back on your heels. Go up on your toes. Rock back, up on toes, okay? I'm going five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Rock back, and then we're up. Come down nice and easy on the heels. Again, don't slam into the ground so you're putting that weight through your spine. You got 10 seconds. Good. Pause right there. We have two to go. Next one, you're going to want to face side to side. This is going to be where we, you can stand up tall, you can take a little squat, you can take a deeper squat. We're going to do some side stepping, okay? So give yourself like three steps side to side. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Taller. If you stand taller, it's easier. If you come down lower, it's harder. One more time down. Okay, stop right there. Grab one weight. This is our driver exercise, the front shoulder core exercise. So you want to use your core to help protect your back. Take a wide stance. We lift up, we rotate, we rotate, we come back down, okay? So I'll give you five seconds. Give yourself a good base. And here we go. Tighten your core. Lift up. Rotate. Rotate. Back down. Up again. Rotate. Rotate. Down. Abs stay tight. Don't hold your breath to keep your abs tight, though. I want you to keep breathing. But flex your core. Got one more. Good. All right. You can take a break. Grab a drink. That's round two. We got one more round to go. We'll take about 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and then we'll get back to it.
All right, we're going about five seconds. All right, let's get to it again. Let's get to it again. We're gonna do a reverse lunge. So reverse lunge, reverse step back. We're right here, okay? Alternating legs. All right, we're going five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Take a leg, we'll go in three, two, one, 
Here we go. Fall back. Just stick with that one leg. I'll let you know when you're at halfway, and we'll do the other one. One more. All right, change legs. Last one right here. Good. Okay. Next up, we have our side stepping. So you're going to want space side to side. Doesn't take more than just a couple steps. Again, you can go low into a squat and then stepping if you want it harder. You can stand up tall if you want it easier. All right. We're going to go in three, two, one. Here we go. One more time down the back. Good. All right, pause right there. Next up, this one will be a little bit of a break. This is our calf. This is going to be rock back on the heel, up on the toes, rock back and up, trying to not come down hard onto the heels. Okay, we'll give you about 10 seconds. <laughs> All right, here we go. Rock back, up on the toes, down easy. Rock back, on the toes. You can hold on to something if you want a little support for your balance. One more back, one more up. Good. Okay, pause. Grab one weight. We're going to do our last exercise. This is our driver. Take one single weight. All right, you're going to take a good base with your legs. This is where we lift up. I'll show you one. Rotate, rotate, and then come back down. All right, we're going five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Use your core. Tighten your core. I don't want you to have to lean back to be able to lift the weight up. Tighten your abs. Place your weight down. Good job, everybody. Nice job.